So I wanna do something a little different in this video and I kinda of wanna give you a bit of a tour, I guess, or a science tour um, of the Santa Croce uh, Church in Chiesa, um, I guess it's not a Chiesa, Basilica in um, Florence, Italy. I'm just having my cereal right now. Um, Cheerios. So I just wanted everybody to sort of see the beauty that I see when I go into a church like that, that I just think is cool. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Professor Dave Maslach. Um, I got an engineering degree. Um, then I went and got a business degree and studied a lot of these folks. Um, so, you know, I'm coming at it from both sides and it's just a really cool place to see uh, in terms of human endeavor that we've had over the centuries. And I encourage everybody to go take a look at it. So this is really a monument of human ingenuity. And that's the way that I think of it. So this person right here is McConey. Um, he invented the radio, which was the moment of modern telecommunications where everybody was able to hear different stories around the world. So invention and thinking about the world in a different way requires you to be a rebel, a conformist, somebody that is not going to put up with other people. And Galileo was that person that represents that sort of mindset of just, you know what, I'm not gonna care about the world. I'm gonna just tell you the truth and I'm gonna speak the truth and that is it. He was the person that changed and established science. It was the sort of first moment where we saw the world differently than what we had saw it for like 500 years before that. So very cool. Fermi, he sort of established quantum mechanics and our understanding of quantum physics. I don't understand it that much, but man, he was a really, really important person for the last 100 years. What I loved about da Vinci is his sort of remarkable understanding of how the world work and sort of the unification of the world in terms of his eyes were things kind of all work together. And I think we should all take a bit of, I don't know, I try to model myself a little bit after Da Vinci because I think he just had the sort of perspective that I liked that the world is somewhat, there's systematic patterns that exist in this world and we can identify those patterns if we simply just keep trying every day. Machiavelli gets a bad rap as somebody that people believe that he was sort of preaching, do what it takes, do all what it takes to get ahead. But in reality, he was actually just telling his story. I would think that he was the first behavioral um, scientist that actually exists where they just observe the world. They see what the world actually does and explains that particular scenario. So Dante's pretty cool because he's not exactly, wouldn't say that he was a scientist or anything like that, but he kind of at the time told the story that um, there are all these undertones of, you know, just giving, just being brave enough to just pursue your own interest and to love who you are. And I, I love that story of really fighting against the world to be yourself. Um, I think we all do that. So this is uh, Michelangelo. And I remember I had a statue, the one where he's, uh, Mary is holding Jesus in my room when I was growing up. And I thought it was sort of a religious statue. Um, and it is, but it's cool to learn about who he was and he was a very rebellious person that didn't necessarily cooperate, from what I understand, didn't cooperate very well. And um, even in the Sistine Chapel, if you go look at a beautiful painting, 
he paints things, he puts things into the Sistine Chapel that um, would be, you know, a kind of a, I'm doing what I believe is right kind of attitude. And that goes against a lot of the church at the time. So very much a rebellious spirit. Charlotte um, uh, Bonaparte, Napole Napoleon Bonaparte, relative of the famous person that tried to take over the world. Kind of cool. So this is one of the oldest known pictures of St. Francis or depictions. You know, here's this dude from a thousand years ago um, that sort of goes against what was going on. It's kind of a dark time in history, right? There was a period in time that's really not great for a long time, for hundreds of years. And this guy comes out with this prayer. I mean, not to mention all of the things that he does, but this prayer was always in our house growing up. I was born and raised Roman Catholic, and St. Francis of Sisi was uh, an influential person in my life and an influential person in my parents' lives. So here's his prayer, and I think it's beautiful. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let, let me sow love. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light where there's sadness, joy. And I think, you know, whatever religious affiliation you are, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not necessarily religious today, but whatever you are, I think it's a beautiful way to view the world and to have strength against the world that pulls you down. I just wanted to show you the rest of the church, um, the Basilica. It is beautiful inside, just like every other church in Italy. Just the artwork alone is outstanding and shows you, it's, just, it's a massive place and it shows you the dedication people had. I think more about not necessarily these sort of heroes that we have in our life, but I think about all the people that are unsung and people don't talk about them and they don't see them, but they're still important. The bricklayers, the, the people that clean the church, like all of that stuff. I think those are the people that build the world. And I think we should be emphasizing those people rather than emphasizing these, these individuals that, um, that we all know, because the world does not work without people to pick up your garbage and clean the church, to do all of those things, to make sure that you can do the things that you can do today. So in general, I think Santa Crochet is just a testament of how amazing we are as as humans um it's a testament of that things can be very tough and things cannot be going your way but if you keep working at it and you keep pushing towards glory whatever that glory is for you you can make a lot of change in this world that is positive that is hopeful that um, is frankly uh, needed in much of the world, even today.